Hello and welcome to Stockwatch presented by me, Evan Lucas for Go Market Securities. As always, please, a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature. None of it should be upon as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of it should be upon as any form of advice at all. It's just general in nature only. I'm gonna go a little bit left field today and actually look overseas because I think what's going on inside Apple not just has a story for Apple and those of you that might invest over in the US, but also in general around anything that has monopoly exposure. News over the last week that the DOJ, so the Department of Justice over in the US, has filed a suit for antitrust laws is a wake up call to all that monopolies will and are probably gonna face a more aggressive, not just US, but regulators across the globe because clearly what they're suggesting here is that the hardware and software inside Apple, iPhones particularly, is anti-competitive. And it's not hard to make that argument to some extent, considering that clearly they are making it very, very, very hard for other providers to get some form of synchronization with Apple products, that the way that they run their software, the way that they run their overall strategy, and then the contracts all feeds back to Apple itself. And that's where this whole discussion comes from, that basically if you have an Apple, you have to stay with the Apple system. And that in itself, die definition, would be argued as antitrust under the US law. Now Apple will fight this and that's what they should do. But it's not just them, the Europeans are doing similar things around the App Store and whether or not the App Store is anti-competitive or the costing of the way the App Store works is anti-competitive, it's all coming there. And so why I highlight Apple, and yes, the fact that it's down over 7.5% this year, I would actually start asking the question, who else? Where else? can this start coming from? Meta is clearly one to highlight straight away. They have too many fingers in certain pies and too much control of the social media space that it wouldn't be surprising to see them go after them. Google also with regards to how they run, you know, the difference between YouTube and Google, which are the two largest search engines on the planet, both owned by Alphabet. So they're the ones to look at. Back here in Australia, I discussed in the last video around Woolies, but it's not just them as well. There are other monopolistic problems that we have here. They're more oligopolies. I mean, we know the Banking Royal Commission tried to do something similar. The insurance companies as well, we've only got two of them. We've only got a couple or at least a handful of major building suppliers. It's the same across the board when you look about it. And for that reason, this discussion, the US word antitrust, what's realistically described as anti-competitive, that is going to be a market headwind going forward and equities exposed to that duopoly monopoly market do need to be ready for the possibility the regulator comes knocking on their door.